I am now going to demonstrate how we use the API interface to an Embarcadero Connect installation. To help you understand the process, we have made a small Java application available that allows you to send and receive API requests to view the process in a nice graphical interface. And straight away when logging in, you can see that rich interface. We have all the glossaries listed. We are also going to be looking at the terms in those glossaries, which is available under the Terms tab. Here's a demo application. You can run the jar file directly, or if you want to see it run verbosely, you can use the batch file. We'll look at that later. On the left, we have all the commands available to you. On the right side, we have the request and response windows. And let's get the address. You'll notice that the command go button isn't available, and that's only available once it's connected. So click connect. You can see your client ID and secret. And straight away, we've done a get on the business glossaries. And you can see the list of business glossaries that we've got. The fields that you would normally see on the web interface are returned directly to your application. This is the accounting glossary with an individual ID number of 1270 and a status of approve. The advantage of this application is that it allows you to see the formatting. What I've done is I've pasted in the 1270 on the end of the business glossaries for business glossaries forward slash 1270 and we've retrieved just that one glossary. I'm changing the command now to post so we're going to create a new glossary and we're going to create one just by copying and pasting in the format. Very simple. With the API you can get information, you can post, you can put and delete. And we're going to post, meaning we're going to create a new entry. I shall clean up the request, make sure it's formatted correctly, adding some fields so that we can recognize what we've done. This will be the Accounting 2 glossary and I'm going to change the description, I'll remove the link, I'm going to change the description just so that we can see the difference when we when we look at it on the web interface and accounting two I'll leave the status as it is the command window which I mentioned before shows verbosely what is happening. Let's go back to the web interface. We'll give it a quick refresh. And you can see straight away there's the Accounting 2 glossary that we created from the API. So that's an example of using the Connect API to get a list of glossaries or to create a new glossary. We used our Java application to show you the process, but the API can easily be applied to your own application, adding a valuable source of business data right where you need it. Thank you very much.